What's up, Feta Fit Fam? For you guys that don't know who I am, my name is Frank Feta. I'm an optimum nutrition athlete and a personal trainer. Today, I'm bringing you to my hometown gym, Star Fitness, one of the very few hardcore gyms around. If you're ever in the Bronx area, I highly suggest you come visit here. It's still got metal weights, not one of these gyms with the rubber weights or the Smith machines and you know all these high-tech machines. You can get a hardcore workout in here and keep it old school. So let's check it out. Let me do a show of this today. Alright guys, so this next six weeks should be fun. You know, not a lot of people out there do what I'm doing. You know, you guys can be following me the whole way. You're gonna see what I'm eating at the exact times I'm eating them. You're gonna follow my training routine. And uh, you know, I know when I first started working out, I didn't really have this. You know, I, I, I just pretty much was like any other kid. Grabbed a couple of my friends, started going to the gym, lifting heavy weights. I had no knowledge of what I was doing, I actually learned along the way. And uh, it wasn't until I became a personal trainer where I actually realized I put everything down on paper and I realized what I had to do to make changes to my body. And uh, you know, a lot of people out there have to pay for diets and pay for exercise routines. So that's why I want to offer this to you guys so you can follow everything I'm doing and, uh, and get the results that I'm getting. At the end, I'm going to step on stage and if you guys want to, there's a local show around the area step on stage too. If you work hard for that body, might as well show it off. So these next six weeks, guys, I'm gonna be showing you what workouts that I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be showing you the supplements I'm gonna be taking. I'm gonna go into a little detail on supplements, but I don't wanna go too crazy like most of these videos do and bore you with the, the facts and the scientific terms of everything. I'm just gonna tell you the basics of what these supplements do, the basics of the exercises, and hopefully show you some new exercises that you guys have never seen before. I don't always use the, the free workout. You guys that follow me on Instagram and on Twitter know that I use it when I, I really need the energy in the gym. Today's one of those days. You know, I didn't get a lot of sleep last night, coming in early today, hitting that free. Uh, usually what I do is, instead of drinking coffee throughout the day, because I know a lot of you guys like to drink coffee, I'll uh, drink amino energy. Same thing, lower in caffeine, uh, then you're gonna get your ECAAs from there too, your amino acids. Now, to answer a question about the platinum free, you guys ask me a lot, is you always talk about the, the heat or the hot pepper that, uh, the hot pepper taste that you get from it. That is from the ingredient Capsimax, which is the capsaicin. It's a thermogenic, which I love while I'm working out because it creates that heat in your body. It makes you sweat a little bit more. Um, I love it. I mean, a lot of you guys say that you, you, know, you leave the pre-workout in your shaker bottle for a half hour. You go to drink it, it tastes like hot pepper. It's a pre-workout, guys. You should be taking that before you work out. Don't let it sit in your cup for a half hour to an hour and then drink it and then go work out. It's a pre-workout for a reason. You take it a half hour before you train, get in there, hit it hard. Other than that, it's a safe product. Like I said, it's just caffeine, beta alanine, and capsinase. So it's no hidden stimulants like most of these companies have out there. Um, I've tried other stuff before and uh, it's giving me the jitters. You know, I'll get like a heart palpitation from it. This, I don't get anything. I don't get no crash. And as soon as I'm done with my workout, I go about the rest of my day. And I, I don't want to tire after that. I'm good to go. All right, guys, we're, uh, we're going to start our shoulder workout. I like to drink BCAAs during my workout. BCAAs, for most of you that know, are branch chain amino acids. And uh, it's going to help keep you anabolic during your workout. It's going to help with recovery. So I'd like to drink it during my workout. And then after my workout, I'll take a protein shake. Today I'm going to be taking uh, Optimum Nutrition Gold Standard with some glycomase, which is uh, a fast acting carb. So we're going to get this. We're going to go start our workout. We're going to get the beats on. Once the beats go in, it means, it means that nobody needs to bother me while I'm working out. I'm going to get this going. I like to warm up the joints a little bit before I work out. So I'll grab like a five pound plate, sometimes I get a five pound dumbbell. Just bring your arm out, go from here to the top. You can rotate the cup a little bit, just warm it up. A few sets. What I like to do is I keep stretching it back further as I go. So I go up here. Lightweight, about two, three sets, warm up the big 20, 30 
house. Don't want to jump into a set and wait to start going at it. That's how you risk it. You don't need to be injured. I actually got two injuries right now that I'm working through. Uh, I'm going prep my wrist and my wrist at work. So it's hard for me to put a lot of pressure on. That's why I have these straps on to keep the pressure on to my wrist. And I actually injured my quad a little bit doing the presses. So that restricts me from I can't go as heavy as I would like. But I'm still getting it in. I'm not making it easy. I 
It'll take two seconds. Get right back in it. Gotta get that last record. Gotta complete the set. I'm not gonna leave that, that bench until I get the 12 set, uh, 12 reps in. I wanted to bring up to you guys too for the next uh, six weeks. I want you guys to track your calories. I want you to uh, to know what you're taking in. So you can either write it down on paper, which is the most effective, or you can check out one of my teammates, uh, Reggie O'Hara. He has an app called Nutritionist. This thing is great. I love it. It acts like a real nutritionist. You keep putting in your weight every week. You put in your goal, whether it may be muscle gain, uh, fat loss, or just maintenance. And it's going to track your calories and adjust it accordingly as you go. App, like I said, it's called Nutritionist. Check it out. It's available for Android, iPhone. It's the best app I've used. And I've, I've used my fitness pal and I've used Tap and Track. This is actually the best one. Start some side laterals. Speaking of my teammate, Kavicio Barron, he showed me these and I got hooked on them. Well, instead of the standard side lateral, what we're going to do is we're going to be bringing the dumbbells together with our, our palms facing up. We're going to bring them up and squeeze them in. So we're really going to hit that uh, out of the out of shoulder. So we're going to start. We're going to twist up on the top. To, to switch it up all the time. Today we'll be doing some lying uh, pulls. What you're gonna do is put your knees onto the bench, bring your chest over the edge of the bench. So you're hanging down. I like to cross my, my legs at the bottom so you stay there. Get a little more balance. What you're gonna do is you're gonna grab the dumbbells. And you're gonna, as you bring them up, I want you to turn them in. So you're gonna turn your wrist in. So all you're focusing on is those real dumbbells. So you're gonna bring them up, in. It's not that 
heavy weight, guys, and since I'm focusing just on that delt, fatigue a lot quicker, burn that muscle a lot quicker. So, check your ego at the door, guys. It's not all about heavy weight. Just focus on those traps. When you start using, uh, just using your hands to grip the bar, especially when you're going heavier, your hands are gonna start slipping and you're gonna take away from focusing on your traps because now you're gonna be thinking about your hands slipping off the bar and now you're focusing on two things, the traps and your hands. Get a nice pair of, of uh, straps. I use the Sheik ones. It has this, they're worn out now, but it has this little bar at the end, it's a rubber bar. It just wraps around the, the barbell and grips it so you don't have to worry about Slipping your grip. Today we're just going to go straight to front, uh, straight to front. That's for sure, and we're going to use a machine. We're going to go into a second exercise for traps. Like I said, my traps are lagging big time, so I need to build them up. 
I'm not going to do a machine like I said before. I'm actually going to show you how to do it with your dumbbells. Uh, like I posted on my Instagram. From behind, scope straight on the track. So basically we're going to press about an 80 or 90 pound dumbbell. Once again guys, use your straps. I'm going to put the, the dumbbells behind. All you're doing is focusing on your track. State cardio. As you can see, I'm only doing uh, 3.0 speed. I'm gonna bring my incline all the way up to 15. I'm going to burn a lot more calories when you walk on the incline. And I'm just gonna stay here at the same pace. 
for about 10 15 minutes. The reason for me doing this is I'm trying to maintain as much muscle size as possible. So I don't want to start running, risk losing some muscle. So I want to keep that as minimal as possible. Before you guys even say it, I know you remember uh, the movie Eight Mile. When he's rapping at the end, he pretty much says everything the other guy was gonna tell him, so he had nothing on him. I'm gonna do that to you guys right now. I'm gonna drop it on you. Yes, I'm pale white. I'm not tan yet. Before my show, I'm gonna start tanning. And yes, I have a New York accent. So you can't comment on it anymore. I already put it in. Let's get some cardio in. Another little, little technique that I use. I learned this from a, one of my friends, John De La Rosa. He's big in the bodybuilding world. You guys know who he is. He always told me, while you're walking on the treadmill, squeeze your cheeks. It's like, make sure you squeeze them tight. Guys, girls are the only ones that can get glutes. While you're walking, squeeze every once in a while. What I like to do is, for like a minute straight, every few minutes, I'll just squeeze. Squeeze my glutes while I'm walking. My girl gets jealous because my thoughts are not harder than this. Oh well. <laughs> now I'm taking my post-workout shakers. I like the spider bottle because you can keep your protein powder at the bottom. And you can drink your BCAAs in here and then when you're done, just pour some more water in and just throw your powder in there. Right now I got some gold standard, some fast acting carbs as you can see. The glycomase, look what it does. <laughs> It's a really thick powder and it just goes everywhere, but it's a fast acting carb and it's, uh, it's good. And I got five grams of creatine in there to keep that muscle fullness. Don't be scared of taking creatine, guys. You know, a lot of people think, oh, I'm taking creatine, I'm gonna get bloated, I'm gonna get full of water. It's not gonna happen, guys. If you do get some uh, water retention from creatine, it's only. Uh, it's only gonna beat it for a little bit. It goes away, but you definitely will see increase in strength and muscle fullness from creatine. It's very important to get your post-workout nutrition in, guys. That's why I do the protein shake directly after I work out, and then I, about an hour later, I'll do my grilled chicken with some sweet potato, about an eight ounce of sweet potato, or if I don't do the sweet potato, I'll have some brown rice. You gotta replenish those muscles that you just worked out, guys. This one is gold standard white chocolate. I don't know which one I like better, the white chocolate or the cake batter, but they both taste amazing. 